It's not about control. Stand down. It's a relationship. Based on respect. What's up, guys? So Jurassic World is the direct sequel to the original classic, Jurassic Park, directed by Steven Spielberg. This one is directed by Colin Trevorrow. And it stars Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, Judy Greer is in the film. And what this story basically is, is uh, they've opened a new park. It's it's not a park anymore. It's it's world. It's Jurassic World. It's this whole island filled with these attractions and these dinosaurs, and apparently it's contained now. So all these people think uh, you know it, it's okay to go uh, to a place like this and uh, check it out. And at the beginning of the film, it does seem very cool. You know some of the stuff that goes on. You know you got this shark that's just hanging, as we see in the trailers, and the thing just comes out of the water and eats it and then takes it back down. That's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I, I think that that's a great definition for this film. Cool or awesome. This is a really awesome movie. This has a lot of great sequences in it. A lot of entertaining sequences in it. This film pretty much, to me, it felt like I was like an adrenaline junkie. Because about, like, about after like the 30 minute point of the film, you're into it these things just start happening and it's event after event after event after event and you're just watching it and you're you're mesmerized by it because it's so entertaining now some of the story elements that take place Rice Dallas Howard plays the aunt to these two kids these two siblings these two brothers uh, and, and the mother is Judy Greer and uh, she sends the, the kids off to have like a weekend with their aunt and she is the head of the the, the place. She's the head of Jurassic World. Bryce Dallas Howard's character is. And, uh, you know, Chris Pratt is kind of the guy that he's, he's like, well, he's, I wouldn't necessarily call him maintenance, but he's, I mean, he could kind of calm down these raptors and it's like a thing of respect, as he says. You know, it's not control, it's respect, as he says in the trailers, he says it in the film as well. And he could, you know, kind of tame the raptors and, you know, make maybe uh, make them work on his side, uh, which is which was pretty cool, and I thought the performances in this is, and I thought that the performances in this movie were great, and I thought the directing was great, and Michael Giacchino's score as well, really good. Um, you know, you do hear John Williams themes in this movie a couple times, uh, which was cool. It was a nice little nod to the original film, so that was cool. The only real problem I have with this film is the first 30 minutes which is a bit slow, and it's all just like build up to what is coming, which is the next hour and a half after that. That's pretty much all I gotta say about Jurassic World. This is a really great movie. It's a fun movie to go to. Get a bucket of popcorn, eat it. It's it's just a, it's a fantastic time in the theater. If you see it in a packed auditorium, I saw it. The thing that was sold out, I don't think there was just, there may have been three seats left. It was a pretty big auditorium, and Everybody was, it got an applause at the end. Everybody was like jumping at some of the intense things that were happening. It was just great energy in the movie. So overall, I'm going to give Jurassic World four and a half out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. I gave the first one five out of five, but this obviously is not as good as the first movie, but this is a pretty damn good movie. So do you guys plan on going seeing Jurassic World? Comment your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe to this channel. Four reviews coming up in the future for films such as Inside Out, you got Terminator Genesis coming out, you got Minions coming out, and just a whole bunch of other stuff. And then next month, Blu-rays and Blu-ray unboxings of Ex Machina. It follows uh, whenever Cinderella comes out. There's no Blu-ray release date yet, but when it does, I'll have an unboxing for it. Avengers Age of Ultron, Furious 7, and then in October, you're going to get a Blu-ray. It's, it's a ways away, I know. But you're going to get a Blu-ray unboxing for the Diamond Edition of Aladdin. So, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you subscribe. Over and out.